We have a goalkeeper, Ewan Henderson, and forward, Jack McMahon. 5 1 victory, Ewan. Just give us your thoughts on the game. Aye, it was good. Uh, first half, obviously, didn't come out the way we wanted to, only going in 1 0 up. But in the second half, we showed our quality and put a few goals by them, including this boy here. It's one of the hat tricks, so it was good. Turning that, Jack, it's your first start of the season um, under Goms. Get the hat trick, couple of great, a couple of great goals as well for yourself. Aye, it's good to get the first start under. Um, Good to get a few goals in under my belt, hopefully they to come. Did you feel when you, when you got that start of the day the goals were going to come? I had a feeling, aye. I had a feeling that if I get one, there will no stop, so... You were obviously one of the goals was a, an absolute cracking volley, what were you thinking about that one? When TC picked the ball out, I thought, well, no real end in the box, so may as well hit it and see what happens. Luckily it went in the top, uh, roof of the net. You know, your second start of the season, you obviously started against every medal after Craig uh, without injury. How's it been the last couple of games? Yeah, it's good. The uh, boys have helped me every game, but feeling more confident. Obviously, the goal today was a bit disappointing. It was a bit far out, but nothing's happened. But just looking to Darvo now, so hoping to get another game under my belt. Talking to Darvo, you'll be hoping to in the, in the team for, for Aye, Friday night? Hopefully, see, we'll see what happens during the week at training and that, but hopefully, get another start next week. Cheers, boys, and congratulations. Cheers, Cheers ben. Ben. We have manager David Gormley. David, 5 1 victory against Thorn, the West Scotland League Cup. Just give us your thoughts. 5-1 victory and we're in the next round of the cup. Uh, first half, I was disappointed in the first half performance. Uh, we were in one up in the first couple of minutes and I think we kind of took our foot off the gas as such. Uh, so I was disappointed in everything in the first half. Uh, our passing, our moving, our final product, our defending, I just wasn't happy at all. And I didn't go in there and rant and rave, I just said to them, they knew as well when I went in, they knew uh, the standards from the, where we should be. So. We, we, I told them what we expect, and, uh, and to be fair, the second half they came out and they done, they done what we, what we expect and what they expect, uh, and we managed to create a few chances, and then obviously we get four goals, which was good. Do you think he's really been patient in that second half? Aye, but we need, you need to be patient, but you need to be doing the right things in terms of the right passes and the right, the right uh, movement off the ball, like on the ball. And we weren't doing it in the first half; it's just simple as that. And, you see, we we uh, the start of the second half, of, we get up and then the boss went up to Dills, he's knocked it back and then we got runners off, which which we were only doing the first half. So people started to go that extra wee bit and started to do the extra wee bits of movement and we got in and just rewards, we got the four goals. You were to start a uh, young Jagger man uh, and uh, Matt's coming, Jagger and Hattrick, must be pleasing. Absolutely, I was pleased. Uh, he, he, to be fair, he was the, the one in the first half that only got pass marks. Uh, because he was the only one who really wanted to try and do something, so but you can't have one player. Uh, second half, I thought he was, he was really good, and uh, uh, we know that Jack's got that in him. Uh, we know Jack's got that in him, so we just need to make sure we're, we're, we're nursing him well and we're giving him the right amount of minutes at the right time and coaching him the way we should be. But you can see the day he's got the quality, he just needs to bring a few other things to his game. But uh, he was really good, and Max out wide, that was his first kind of proper game for us, uh, and uh, he's been up training maybe for the last two months maybe with the first team so you could see the wee things he's, he's starting to improve on uh, and he was good today yeah he was he was good as well obviously some, some appearances for uh, Sam Duncan Campbell McLean and Josh Lloyd as well yeah so it was obviously the, the, the squad's a bit thin we, uh, right now we're just with suspensions and injuries and family issues and things like that with a couple of boys so it gave an opportunity to get a couple of young boys on the bench and we got them on the park which I, th I thought they did well when they came on and we put Campbell and Sam in the middle of the park and they did, they did well and they, they kept the ball for as well uh, and, and young Josh did we, we look for his full back and to, to be patient and then when the ball starts to come out his, his uh, side look to advance and put crosses in the box which he done so I was happy with, with the all round the we, the, the young boys and then also I was happy with the experienced boys in the second half the first teamers they did the right things and they set the standards and they drove the, the, the younger boys on which I was happy with so it was good to, it was good to get the young boys in the park as well but uh, aye, it was the second half performance allowed us to do that got the draw tomorrow you'll be doing the draw here at, at Buffs Park listen I, I, 
I was looking at the draw coming, the teams left in the tournament coming down. There's not going to be any. That's a, every day. You, the favourite teams you think are going to progress if they do then it's going to be a right hard tie but we have that's in it so listen we'll take anybody here that's the, that's the thinking from us regardless who it is anybody down here we're, 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 we'll like to give ourselves a good account uh, for us talking about hard ties with Darwin next Friday night here yeah so Darwin the league next Friday and that, was, that was the kind of carrot you dangled in front of them at the start of the game you should have got the jersey so go and, uh, go and keep yourself on the team as such so First half, as I said, they didn't do it, but the second half, people put their name in the frame, so it's going to be a hard, uh, a hard game for us. Uh, but it's a game I'm looking forward to, and it's kind of, kind of a good time for us in terms of after the Meda result and after this result. So we'll work a bit hard this week, but it'll be a right hard. It will be hard. There's no denying it. They're a, their team, they know it's flying. Mick's going well organised as he does. They've got some quality, so uh, we need to be, we need to be banging at it to, to give ourselves a chance. Cheers, guys. Cheers.